welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I've got my new camper and I'm going to be setting up a flexible solar panel on the camper. Now, I got it from VicOffRoad.com. Um, I paid full retail for it, so I didn't get anything for nothing. Actually, I didn't pay full retail for it. I telefib, I got it on the Black Friday sale, so I got free delivery. Cost me a couple of hundred dollars. It's not here nor there. Now, it's a 200 watt solar panel. It's a flexi solar panel. Why didn't I go for a solar panel? Well, just a bit of weight on top of the roof. It's a um, composite van, so to speak, so it doesn't have you know strengthening bars in the roof. We've done some alterations to the roof rack over a period of time. So now, today, we're gonna to be trying to fix the solar panel. Um, never done this before, so it may be a how to or how not to do a flexible solar panel to your roof. So let's get stuck in and have a look at the solar panel and the way I'm fitting it. I've already done some work on the roof. I've already just cleaned it off a little bit, just waiting for it to dry. The weather's not the best down here in Melbourne. So let's get stuck in and have a look at my new flexi solar panel. Okay, I've um, just removed it from the box. Um, it comes reasonably well packed. It's got good padding here for the um, top of the solar panel there. I think that'll make a good template for where I want to mount it on top of the um, camper. Um, I got it from this company here, as I said before, and then as you do, they give you 15% off your next purchase, which was nice, but you know, I don't know if I'll buy anything else from them. It comes with these standard plugs here for your solar panel. Now, I actually don't think I'll use these. I think I'll delete these and use an Anderson plug. That way I can connect it and disconnect it because it's not going to be permanently on in a, on the camper because the camper lives in, in the garage or in the shed, which is pretty cool. Now, according to some people that I've looked on the internet, is that these, you just don't glue the solar panel there, straps the roof. You've got to have a bit of, you know, air flow underneath. So what I did is I went into the local bunning store and bought some of this sunlight stuff now it's got little channels in it like that there so it should help with the airflow hopefully i'll um i don't think i'll attach the whole sheet to it. i think i'll just um cut long lengths of it put it underneath and then glue it on top of the camper now the glue i'll be using is sticker flex why not it's the best stuff i know that's out there and it's the super grip it says it takes about half an hour to cure so I'll probably be doing this for quite some time. So I'll probably uh, glue that there to the solar panel and then go off and have some lunch and then come back out and put the rest of it. So let's have a look at this solar panel itself. Okay, some nice eyelets there for you. Is it the top or the bottom? Ah, oh, it's the top of the solar panel. Now, I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not. It's not like a normal solar panel. It's got really fine things in there. It's rated for 200 watt, about nine, I think it says on the brochure about 9.75 amps maximum. So it's a good start for the day. It's only, it's going on a lithium battery. Um, I've already got the regulator in the, in the van already. So yeah, it's pretty good. All right, jump up and check this out, eh? You've got me, me template. You know, typical, isn't it? You do all that work and then some, some bird comes along and craps on the roof. Now I have to clean it again. You now well, it gives me an idea anyway. Okay, I've got it in position where I want it. It's not being shaded by anything. Yeah, this isn't the height that it'll be sitting at. It'll be a bit lower than this. Now, this is my thought process for these things. I'll show you what I mean. I can run the wire along here, down. This one as well, which is the positive, down here, down to a Anderson plug rather than these. Now, the place I was thinking of putting the Anderson plug, I don't know if I should point it towards the front of it, of the camper, or towards the back. I think towards the back would be better, that way it wouldn't get any dust and crap in here. So, I'll show you what I mean there. I can go that way, or I can go that way. To be honest, the way I'm thinking is that, you know, all the water and crap can get into there. I know you can get plugs for it, but it's going to be mounted to the top of this bracket here. I think I'm going to mount it that way. Run the cables underneath here, the roof rack, and come up the back that way. That way it's still serviceable. I'll just have to um, take those catches off, do a bit of soldering, and get that sorted. And I'll do that next, I think. But yeah, that's my thoughts. And... Uh, you're more than welcome to comment 
But it's too late when it's done, isn't it? Well, it's not too late when it's done, because you can always turn it around. Let's see how we go. I'm going to solder them in. And then, um, yeah, go from there. Yeah, why not? Life's too short. Oh, okay, the beer cans have done the job. They held it down nice and secure. It's the only thing I could find that was of an even weight. So that's done, like it was said, half an hour to, for it to cure, or to seal up properly. I've given it an hour and a half. It's done the trick now. I'll just put some more stick effects on it here. Walk over to the camper, put it on the roof there and let it sit there until it's dry again. All right, let's do that now. It's up on the roof of the camper and guess who forgot to push the record button? You guessed it, it was me. So you could see me putting it up there and struggling. It's probably better you didn't because you'd be going, oh, you did it wrong. I'll give you a look at what we've done, how I put it up there. Now Stickerflex says it takes about half an hour for it to cure. I'll probably give it a good hour or so. Come back out, have a look at it. It's a nice it's a sunny day. It's cleared up quite nice in here in Melbourne. So we'll jump up, have a look at it. I'll show you what we've done. Now I've got the original packaging on top. Got the tow bar on there to give it a bit of weight. Bag of heat beads over there in the drifter bag. And the Anderson plug is done as well. I've got to work out how to flex these wires around a little bit more so I can mount it onto there. All right, as I said, I'll come back in about an hour or so. Check it out. Probably make it, maybe, might even make it a little bit longer to be quite honest with you. Might even check it tomorrow, I think. Yeah, we'll check it tomorrow and see how she's going. All right. I finished installing the solar panel on the roof of the camper. Now, as I said previously, I've got no association with uh, Vic off-road website or anything like that. I actually paid full retail for it. I did get a bit of a discount because I bought it on the Black Friday sale. So I got free delivery to my door and got about 10 bucks off, which is pretty good. Now, I'm up here camping on the Murray. Today and yesterday was not ideal conditions for a solar panel. It's been overcast, it's just been black. And I'm actually parked on some trees, which doesn't help either. Now, this is a 200 watt solar panel. It's been pumping in between two and four amps under really crappy conditions. And I say they were not good. So I'm actually quite happy with the performance of this particular solar panel. It's a 200 watt solar panel. Now I did some modifications to it. So what I've done is I've actually put some um, roofing tape right across the leading edge. Now I, I honestly don't think it'll be a problem anyway because the sticker flex that I put on it, but it's just in case a bit of you know air gets underneath it and lifts it because that's what solar panels often do. They lift off roofs and things like that. Also what I did with the Anderson plug. Now remember I wasn't quite sure where I was going to put it. I still put it facing forward I went down to the big green shed and bought myself some um, nut and a little bolt thing there. It is really rock solid. Give this a plug, a thumbs up as well. For a solar panel, it's run flawlessly. Now I was going to buy a King solar panel. I know you say King's there, blah, 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 blah. But they only had a solid 170 watt solar panel. I wanted something a little bit stronger. So that's why I bought it from a big off-road 4x4. Now, Remember, I have no association with them at all. I pay full retail for it. So it's all good. It's an honest review. So um, if you've got something out of this video, don't forget, hit that like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. And it's bye for now.